A former student at the Northern Michigan Christian Academy speaking out about allegations of criminal sexual conduct by the former Michigan House Speaker Lee Chatfield. Thank you for staying with us at five. I'm Brian Abel. Alexis Prince was a high school student when Lee Chatfield was a middle school teacher. His accuser, Rebecca Chatfield, now his sister in law, was in Prince's class. Michigan State Police are investigating Rebecca's claim that she was sexually assaulted over several years, starting at age 15 or 16. Chatfield has denied the allegations. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner has been on this since it broke two weeks ago. He's talking with this former student who describes the academy and church as a controlling cult. Alexis Prince was in class with, but not close with, Rebecca Chatfield in 2011 when they were both in the 11th grade. She was definitely um, close to the Chatfields from what I could see. Rebecca is now married to Aaron Chatfield, Lee's younger brother. Aaron worked for his brother while Lee was the Speaker of the House until Lee left in 2020. We normally don't identify alleged victims of sexual assault, but Rebecca wants her story to be known. Alexis Prince left the Northern Michigan Christian Academy after just one year. I look at it as a controlling, manipulative, abusive school atmosphere in general. She's now 27, married with three kids, lives in Petoskey, about a half an hour away. A lot of the rules um, I would consider over the top and kind of cult-like. The school and church was, it was almost like, its own like its own little community and everybody knew the rules and you followed the rules. She says in the school men and boys are superior. Students wore uniforms. Girls couldn't be close to boys in school. Long hair was encouraged for girls and if you got out of line you could be spanked. It was supposed to always happen in the office and there was always supposed to be a male and female um, teacher present. She says she didn't get spanked, but her younger brother, who had Lee Chatfield in middle school as a teacher, did. It was mostly younger students who got the corporal punishment. And my brother never really talked about it, so I'm not sure if it was with a paddle, with a hand. She says she had a friend who was killed in a car crash three years ago. But while in Northern Michigan Christian Academy, that friend claimed she was raped by another student and her friend had a meeting at the school. From what she said, the principal and the, uh, Rusty Chatfield, the pastor, they were trying to convince her from what she said, convince her that she was actually the one in the wrong. On Friday, we got a statement from Lee Chatfield's attorney, which says in part about his accuser, Rebecca Chatfield, that they had a long consensual sexual relationship. Mr. Chatfield's affair with this woman lasted for years, but they were both consenting adults over 18. During their affair, this woman regularly contacted Mr. Chatfield to initiate sexual encounters, and she took steps to hide the affair from others, including her husband. Alexis says her friend was also a member of the Chatfield Church. She had to apologize to the congregation in order to be able to stay at the church in the school. Alexis Prince says people up north are not really talking about this case in church and around. When they do, they say we're praying for both sides and waiting for the facts. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And a quick correction, the former student says the academy and church was controlling like a cult, not a controlling cult. Now we have reached out to Rusty Chaffee, the church pastor and school leader. He has not called us back.